But I think it's good. No! God, please, no! 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 Hey, what's going on guys? Typical Asian here. As you can see by the title, this video is going to show you a full tutorial on how to use your Xbox One controller on the PC for Smite. And uh, let's get to started with. I'm a fellow Xbox One Smite player myself. And as an Xbox One player, I enjoy using the controller. When I started to play uh, Smite on the PC, I just couldn't get comfortable with the controls. I tried so hard, but now I actually do get comfortable. But yeah, before, I really wanted to use an Xbox One controller instead of the keyboard. And I researched a lot on how to actually do it. And now I've got all the valuable assets to show you all the steps on how to set up your Xbox One controller, how to set the keybinds, and um, apply it to your Smite PC version. So first of all, you're obviously going to need your Xbox One controller and a USB to micro USB cable. You should have gotten that when you bought your Xbox One controller because you needed that to update it with the Xbox One console. Um, and if you don't, you probably should have one lay laying around the house unless you don't, you don't use any type of electronics except for Apple. Um, because Apple's like the only one that doesn't use that type of charger. Um, but yeah, you're gonna need that a long enough one. But getting that out of the way, once you plug in the USB attached with the Xbox One controller, your PC is gonna install it, install the files, and if you downloaded Smite from Steam, this is very important. Um, I don't know if you needed to do this um, if, um, if you downloaded it from hi res I don't know if it's that important to you too but just try it out um, if you go to steam steam's gonna automatically install your controller files in the settings so steam can fully utilize that file so every time you use the controller um, for any game that allows controllers like smite which is very important if you downloaded smite um, from steam so right after you log in to smite um, and open it, you have to go to settings. Before you go to key bindings, let's go to controls and unbox disable joystick input because whatever you're doing for the key bindings, whenever you're putting the controls for your controller, it can't register it unless you unbox this. Here's the picture of the Xbox One controller with all the key bindings I put on it. So you can just pause the video and copy it into the key binding settings and I think that's all I have today for setting up the Xbox One controller for Smite. Uh, feel free to check it out and um, jungle practice, um, see how it feels when you guys try, out, try it out in jungle practice. The sensitivity will be really low. It feels like it's unplayable. You wouldn't like it at first but there's another video coming up in my channel. Um, check it out later on. Thank you guys for watching, and if you did like my commentary, please leave a like. A subscribe would really help me out. It would encourage me so much to make more videos for this channel. Um, and comment down in the section below what you guys think, any questions, any problems, anything you guys want me to record and upload to YouTube next. Anyways, thank you guys for watching again, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.